So hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to, to observe bacteria under the microscope with oil immersion. So um, this are the materials we're going to need. So this is stain, so I bought that on a website. Um, distilled water, your bacteria colony. Bacterial colony. Um, some alcohol wipes for cleanup. Um, a gas lighter. We usually use a Benson burner, but at this environment, we don't have a Benson burner available, so we will use a gas lighter. Okay, there's no gas in this one. And a pipette. You don't have to use micro pipettes, but I prefer them. They're more accurate. So let's place that down and let's start the procedure. So, you will also need one of these trays so, to, to um, contain the water, or you can just basically do it on top of your sink. So, let's start. And also, get a microscope slide, some oil, immersion oil, some lens cleaning paper, and your inoculation. So take your slide and place it on the glass slide, or on the tray. Take your water and put a tip, a sterile tip on top of your pipette. Or just use a normal dropper. And then here, Take a drop of water from my flask. So I just boiled this water to make sure it remains very clean. And 200, uh, 200 microliters is too little. So I like turning it down because um, too much water, like um, over 200 micrometers, microliters um, tend to dry really slowly so I actually turn it down all the way to 005 and then I, I press the top button and then I take it from the water and then place it on the slide okay. so now put the slide uh, put your pipette away and and eject so you press this button this button so you eject it so now throw this throw it away and then set that to the side so now we will take our inoculation loop so this inoculation loop and then we will uh, put it in the flame to sterilize it. So here, so keep until it's hot. Now it's very hot, so take your bacteria plate, open it, make sure you take the precautions because bacteria may be pathogenic. Place it in a clean part of the agar without the bacterial colony to ensure cooling of your loop because it's really hot right now. You might hear a sizzling sound. That's normal. So take a bacteria, a single bacteria colony like that. Just touch it with your loop, and then turn back here. 
you will just smother the bacteria like that. Okay. So you have to smother the bacteria like that. Smother it. Um, make sure you can separate the bacteria to ensure good observation. Okay, I got a little bit on the top other bit of the slide, which I don't want. So, take that and wipe it off. I don't want that touching my microscope. Here, after that, immediately sterilize the loop because the bacteria may be pathogenic. So, sterilize it. Place it inside the flame. Be careful of projection of fire because um, the burning of excess material of the bacteria colony. So I'll take this and put this to side. Make sure it's, it's very hot, so make sure it's very careful. Now here, this is very important. You have to heat fix the slide, uh, the, the bacteria to the slide because it's very important that um, bacteria get fixed to the slide when gram staining. So when we stain them, they, they won't wash off. So here, just simply go under it. With the Benson burner, it's much faster, but here, you have to go a few times. And make sure all the water is evaporated before now, I touched my tip, the tip of the fire touched the fly, so there's a bit of soup here. So I will take one of these and then wipe the bottom with the soup. Make sure it's very hot. Make sure it cool down before you do that. Okay, now we're going to keep it. Let's do the ground staining process. So here we have three, four stains. So this is the first one. It's crystal violet. The second one is iodine. This is not a stain, but this helps the crystal violet get trapped inside the bacterial cells. This is acetone or ethanol. Depends on which company you buy. Mine is ethanol, but uh, serves the same purpose. Both um, help remove the stain, crystal violet stain, from the gram-negative bacteria. So gram-negative bacteria will be counter-stained after with safranin. So, so gram-positive bacteria will be stained crystal violet and gram-negative bacilli like um, E. coli will be stained pink with safranin. So now um, I'll stain it. So here one number one stain crystal violet. So here place a few drops on top of this specimen, the bacteria. Okay, so now, wait one minute. So I actually have a stopwatch going on behind the camera. So make sure you get accurate. So, wait. one minute has now passed. So we will take our distilled water from the container and wash it off carefully. So you can see the bacteria are stained right now. So wash it thoroughly. And then take and then touch the part where no water has touched. And then um, shake the water off. And now take your micro pipette or pipette. And if it is a micro pipette. Turn it all the way up 
to 200. I like 200 at least, like not to waste iodine because like some people use one ml, some people use like two ml to flush it, but I, I don't think that's necessary as long as you wait the one minute. So I'll take another stereo cap and then cap it in. So make sure it's on tight. And then take the iodine, press, press this to the first stop, submerge your pipette, up, take it out, and then put it on the bacterial smear. So today's bacterial smear is a little bit too big, so I'll do it again. I'll make the iodine for this very spot. And then leave it for one minute. One minute has now passed, so we will take our distilled water and wash it off. And I'll take clean bits and then shake the water off. There, because here we will decolorize it from the brown negative bacteria. From the gram positive. So here we will take um, ethanol or acetone. I use acetone. I use ethanol, but some people may use acetone. They work the same way. They both decolorize gram negative bacteria. So I will take it here and wash it. decolorization, we take our distilled water and flush it very thoroughly. We don't want excess decolorization of the supply. Rinse it very well. You might have to refill the distilled water, but I am fine here. So now So I'll take my tweezers and hold the slide. So now we will take the fourth stand. So saffronin. So now we will flood it with saffronin for one minute. Just make sure you drop it everywhere over this bacteria. And wait one minute. So one minute has now passed. We will take our remaining water and rinse it off thoroughly. Water is starting to run out here. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll just unscrew it and pour this whole thing on top. Okay, now it's all washed off. And we'll take a clean tissue. We'll take a clean tissue. Get rid of this one. Put it under the slide. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to get your microscope wet, make sure the make sure the bottom is wiped very well. And then the top, don't rub because you might rub the bacteria off, stain bacteria off. So just do that and pass it. So pass it. Open it now. And here it is. You can see there might
might be a little bit of stain. That's okay because the most of it is still stained. So wipe most of it off. So now we have a stained slime. So now I have um, prepared the workspace with the microscope. This one has a trinocular head. So there's a camera into my computer. I, for demonstration purposes, I am using a low-cost Omax microscope. I would also recommend using alcohol wipes to sanitize the bottom just for the microscope. Make sure it's like there's the alcohol wipes. Wipe. And then I'll wipe the bottom. And maybe wipe the sides too. Make sure you don't wipe off the bacteria though. So, can set the clamps and move the stage to the center position, and then start with our 4x objective. So it's just a normal 4x objective. Turn on the microscope. Now, start seeing there's light. So I'll adjust the course focus knob. Up, up until it focuses. So here we can see that I smeared too much of the bacteria on top. So instead of picking up the whole colony, if it's a really big colony, just touch the loop and you'll get the bacteria ready. So here, see here, and look inside the objective. Much more clear in the objective. But I can't put the camera on top. So I can't show you inside the objective. But I can show you here. So here is 4x. Here is 10x. So 10x. Here is 40x. And here you should be able to see the right there. Here, our bacteria is visible, so this is... Okay, so here, you can see um, that it's a bit blurry. There's too much bacteria on it. Um, next, video, uh, next time, I'll actually... It's a bit unclear here because um, the resolution right now is not very good. So you can't see the single bacteria. But I will um, take this and project it into the video uh, sometime in the future. Uh, let's say next, like next time I make video. So now lower the stage. Lower the stage using the course focus. And then take a drop okay actually turn it to the 100x oil make sure it's oil objective so here and then we take a drop of the inversion oil drop it way on top of the specimen so try and avoid air bubbles so I'll, I'll actually go deeper to show you here Okay, so 
room now. You can see that I'll take the oil. Make sure you don't touch any other objectives. Take the oil. And then try. Okay. There's a bit of air bubbles here, but I don't think it matters. It's just better without the bubbles. It's a little bubble there, but it's okay. Take screw this back on there's still a lot left and then slowly adjust the course focus until it almost touches like that so it almost touches the oil now let the lights here almost touches the oil like this and then take the fine focus and slowly, it's in the oil. It's not in the oil yet. Okay, so slowly to the oil. Now it's in the oil. You can start observing the bacteria. So here, what do we see? We see this. This is a type of bacteria. So as you can see, this is gram positive. It's violet, stained by the crystal violet stain. I'll turn on. So you can see the individual, individual bacteria. So here you can see the oil. So we take our paper and we gently fold it. I, I like to fold it in half and wipe the edge. Don't wipe the lens quite yet. So just wipe that, the outside of the lens. Don't wipe the lens right now. And then now unfold it into one single sheet and then you can wipe the lens wipe the oil off the lens so and then throw the sheet away and then after throwing the sheet away this is just a still image, so that's why it's still on. And then the basic my, uh, microscope uh, maintenance, maintenance, like after using a microscope, this is what you do. So I like to turn down the brightness, so once you open it, it doesn't blind you. And then turn it off. And then here, Put away the lens cleaning paper. And then I'll go wash the slide later. So I'll put this, wash the oil off the slide and the bacteria. So we can reuse the slide. So here, turn off the computer. And just to complete, make sure this video is complete. I'll show you how to put away your microscope. So, if it is trinocular and if it's not wireless, unplug the wire and then unplug the mains plug in here. So, here, so. and then unplug the mains. Plug, which I will do now. The plug is now unplugged. Here, unplug, and then we will take the microscope and then hold it here carefully and put the other hand on the bottom and then carry it to the place where you want it to be in.
like your storage case or where it's really humid here um, in this city where it's very humid um, we like to put it in one of these so these are dry cabinets so I keep it at 48% to make sure mold doesn't grow but first I like to put on my dust cover so make sure the dust cover is on like this so now we'll carry it over to the dry cabinet like that so now we're looking or we're done at looking bacteria so there's nothing actually really cool to see about bacteria it's it's more interesting to look at like paramecia some ciliates and then we'll cover that in a future video but for now subscribe like and comment and any questions you have just ask in the comments and I'll answer them in a future video and also support me on patreon uh, to keep these videos going and to help me get better equipment like software um, like I could get like Photoshop for um, editing these videos and show you better quality videos and better videos and also to get more better lab equipment like the microscope or just other basic necessities of the lab. Hope you enjoyed this video and bye.